know, every tree has a life and a death. I do not like to remove them, especially here. All these trees have meaning to somebody. So the really big ones are uh, sometimes up to a two-day project. Um, you got to get the limbs off first, and then you remove the wood, grind the stump. So you, you could be talking two, three days. Mushrooms, cavities, any kind of change, lean. If a tree was vertical and now all of a sudden has a lean to it, is there some kind of root decay, uh, loose soil, uh, damage from storms, lightning, wind, anything can change the tree state. There's a lot of things that take place. Uh, it depends on where the tree is. Um, do we have to block roadways? Do we have to put up barricades? Um, it takes a lot of equipment, bucket trucks, skid loaders, trailers to get rid of the wood, machinery to load the wood. Um, and a lot of help. Uh, one or two guys can't do these big trees. It's three, four, or five man process. A lot of the wood, we, we have a dump area here where we take it. Uh, residents, employees, um, they utilize it for wood burning, wood projects, whatever they want to use it for. They can, they can go up there and take the wood and use it for that. Um, we did take some to a couple logging companies around that would use it for sawmills, but since COVID times, a lot of those had shut down. So most of the wood now either goes up top or we have a place called Zegers in Elizabethtown that takes it, grinds it up into wood chips. I enjoy working here. I enjoy this staff, um, the residents. The residents are probably the best, you know. We really enjoy working with them. And a lot of residents appreciate what we do. You have a couple that aren't happy about seeing the big trees go, but 95% are very appreciative of what we can do here to keep the trees alive, keep them safe, 